Okay, so hey guys, um, just telling you, we might also be selling, um, crep. Um, if you guys want to, we might not be selling crep protect the spray because it's it hardens the material and people can think it's fake because of the material and then you're gonna be mad at crap and then crap isn't gonna say it's not their fault but um yeah right now i'm gonna show you something that i just picked that i just caught for me um sorry it's still not for the brand but though it's good and we might be selling one of these and I'm just testing them to see if we might be selling these at our Instagram and here we go these are the fro human races these are so awesome and we also got the crap travel kit we also have the extra lace so if you guys are be gonna think of buying these, uh, let me just show you what they have inside in store for you. It's gonna be a little bit hard for me to open with only one hand and this is kind of slippery because of the solution because I just had to clean my Pharrell today, my human races, so yeah. Sorry about the bad filming, it's cause it's hard to open this. Oh. oh, there we go. So, first we have the brush, right? And then we have the solution that you need to read before if you have um, gentle skin, don't use this with your bare hands. And then we also have the, the towel, right? And yeah, they work pretty well and they are made to you to clean with, um, how do we call it? Cir in circular motion. So right over here we have a little bit of a black spot on my shoe, my human race. And I'm going to be wearing these for um, school on, today's Saturday, on Monday. I'm gonna be wearing these because Friday, I got them Thursday, but yesterday, Friday, we had no school. Um, so, I'm gonna be wearing these, and we might also be selling the crep, the crepes. We might also be, the one that we're most gonna sell is the, the crep cure, the travel kit. It's because it's really good and it comes in a travel box so you can easily take you take it with you and it does not harden the material and with the brush it didn't like take any of the stitches out of the the sentence the the letters so um yeah it's pretty good and as we as I told you we have this black spot we are gonna be cleaning them so right now I'm taking the Human races in my bathroom because we need hot water for this. So yeah. Now we're gonna grab the crep. And so we're not gonna be using as they do crep um that they like take out the laces because first we don't need it. Second, we are good. And I think they just took my Yes yeah, shoot. Yeah, they just took my plate. So I guess I need to be using the broken plate. Yay! Woo! Okay, so first it says that you need hot water. Right now, plain hot water. And then first, we are gonna unbox this. You're gonna take the brush, put it over here, right over here, so next to it. The crepe here and the tw and then the towel for later. So right now we are gonna be waiting it to steam. So it's steaming a little, but we're gonna wait just a little bit more for this 
And um, another thing that I bought for mine was, a, oh, there it is. It's pretty good. My, my, we bought it um, the Foot Locker, but yeah, it, it runs out really quick. Mine is almost running out, and, in, and it's called the Waterproofer. It is not hard in the material, and it makes your shoes um, water, waterproof. And you need to spray this the first time, the first day. Then the next day you need to spray it. And then the next month you need to do the same thing. So each, every month you need to do that. But mine is all over, like almost. And the water is steaming hot right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the process of it. Right now, I got my water. I'm gonna be very careful and just let the water go through the tip of the plate. This one is gonna be hard because it's not that deep. Now I'm gonna turn off the water, actually, and then. But it's still gonna be hot though. And um, oh look at that hurricane. It's on. Alright, so then what it says, you need to grab the brush, dunk it, like my brother says we need to do is dunk it actually, dunk, right, and then we take it out, we pour a good amount of, dang it, oh shoot, right now I'm just going to be opening this. So let me just do like this. Okay, so we're gonna be opening this like this. Now, as you can see, it comes like this. So then, right now, I'm gonna be pouring it on the brush just a little. I think I put too much, but then I can clean a good amount of the shoe. And then it says to you to dip it again, and then. You just clean your shoe. So right now, um, I do not have a Gorilla Pod, so I'm gonna try my best to do this over here. Okay. So, yeah, these are the dirty one. Yesterday, someone stepped on these. So, um, over here, it's right over here, the mark. So you just clean them in circular motion, like this. And yes, a little bit of soap comes out, as you can see over here. Please focus, camera. Please focus. A little bit of soap. And um, yeah, you just keep cleaning it in circular motion until it comes out. So in my case, it just came out. And then what I like to do is get the towel, rub it on there to take out the excess of the, the soap. And then I just leave it to dry. And then what I do next is just because I poured a lot, I'm going to clean a little bit. So... Over here, I'm going to put it right on the thoughts. So then you see it does not take out the stitches. So it does not take out the stitches of the thoughts. And I just cleaned these today because someone stepped on these. But, um, yeah. And that's the process. And then what I like to do to clean my brush is first take all the excess out by just dipping it in the hot water and then just, and just doing this until it comes white, the hot, the hot water. This bowl is small, so I just do like this. And then I come here, and then I get my cold water now. And I just take out all, and then I get my towel that is all dirty, like this. And then I put this like this, and then I just dry it. Literally just dry it. And then I fold my towel until it fits the case. As over here, it fits. 
Now I put it here. So I like to put it like this. Yeah. Like this. And then now we're going to be closing. Closing the solution. So make sure nice and tight. Then you get the case, you just flip it and you zipper it up like this. And then you're ready to go. And then what I like to do is leave it right on my shelf next to my laces over there. So I also got my Vans laces also. Because I like, I don't know why, but I just like to collect laces. Because here I just got my Vans one. And here we got my crap. And here. I'm gonna like just organize this for sneakers and then here I'm gonna put like some boxes to put my sneakers but right now I put my frill like over here on the ground and that's pretty much it so the problem is that we live in Brazil but um my grandparents live in France so what I'm gonna do is order crap from their site to their houses, and then they bring it here to us. And then we're gonna be selling it for you guys, and we might also be selling these waterproofers. Just comment down below what you want for the, uh, if you want these to be sold, the waterproofers. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's pretty easy, but make sure to do it outside because this smells bad. Look, it's just this, I'm gonna do this outside because I do not want my room to be s smelling. So here we got it. Wait, let me just put that there. There. So it does not come like opened like this, but it's because I sprayed these yesterday. <laughs> you see? It smells pretty, pretty bad, but um, it's worth. And then you just leave it to dry in your shoe. And then your shoe's gonna smell a little bit bad, like for, just for a little, and then it's gonna smell like normally. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And goodbye, guys, and see you later.